G'day, I'm Peter Fritz and welcome back to Landscape Photography in 3 Minutes. This is day 7 out of 21 in this series that I'm running in July. And today's subject is, I think, a common question, and that is, when is the best time to shoot landscapes? I'm a believer that the best time to shoot landscapes is when you're in the landscape with your camera, whatever camera you have with you. And I know that that's a bit of a cop-out, but there is a widely held not misconception, a widely held belief that the only really good times to shoot landscapes are at dawn and dusk, either pre-dawn for blue hour or post-dawn for golden hour and the reverse for dusk, pre-dusk for golden hour and post-dusk for blue hour. But I don't think it's as simple as that. In fact, I know it's not as simple as that. I've been taking photos for 40 years and professionally for about 35. And so I know that... Um, you can get spectacular photos at any time of day. It comes down to other things, really, because as I see it, you can't control the light, you can't control the weather, um, you can't always control what time you drag your fat ass out of bed, <laughs> at least in my case. Um, so the best thing to do is to, um, to focus more instead on what it is that attracts you to the place that you're currently looking at, what attracts you to the elements within a scene? And then how can you work with the light that you have? How can you work with the current time of day that you're presented with um, to photograph this and to capture what you feel when you see what you're seeing? Because if we think logically, yes, sunrise and sunset can be beautiful, but we have all been moved by a landscape at times other than sunset and sunrise. So it stands to reason that we don't need to be always photographing at dawn or dusk in order to capture beautiful images. So I thought rather than debate this issue until the cows come home, I would instead give you some simple pointers on when I believe the best times are to shoot different types of scenes, starting with um, woodlands, forests, bushland. More often than not, the best kind of light to photograph those scenes in are overcast light, muted light. Now that could still be at dawn or at dusk uh, when you might have the benefit of fog or mist, which is always highly desirable in a woodland scene because it simplifies the scene, it gets rid of the chaos in the background. That's certainly very desirable and probably a good enough reason alone to get up early. But if you are out in the middle of a day um, and you're presented with diffuse lighting, whether it's directional or it's overhead, that can be a great time to photograph woodlands, bushland, forest, that kind of thing. If you're photographing large reflective surfaces like lakes, um, ponds, the sea, that kind of stuff, um, blue hour is a lovely time to photograph that. There are a couple of reasons for that. One is that the, um, the beautiful graduated effect of the Shades from dark to light on the horizon and up into the, the top of the sky can look incredible reflected in a large pool of water, large surface of water. Also because blue hour tends to be very still and very calm. Uh, there tends to be the least amount of wind uh, in those circumstances. And if you're photographing, um, say, a lake in a tourist area, then at blue hour, pre-dawn, or post dusk, there's also going to be far fewer people on that body of water, more than likely none. If we're talking non-reflective surfaces, like um, cliffs, hills, um, trees out in the open, uh, old buildings out in the open, those kinds of things, then I think golden hour is a great time to photograph them, depending, of course, on the direction of the light. But the good thing, of course, is that you know, the sun sets and rises every day. So if the sun is not in the right place at dawn, then chances are it's going to be in the right place at dusk as the sun goes down. So I like to photograph rolling hills um, and large areas that aren't reflective, that aren't uh, congested like a woodland, where I'm in a woodland. I like to photograph those large open areas at golden hour, I think, um, that's when form and shape um, are best illustrated uh, with large areas like hills. Now, if we're talking bold shapes um, and stark scenes like deserts, canyons, gorges, these kinds of things, 
These can often be best shown around midday, depending on where the light is falling and which surfaces it's hitting and the kinds of shadows it's creating. Often those kinds of stark, harsh, desert-like scenes are actually best photographed during the day, you know, or at least a couple of hours either side of midday where the sun is on an angle, but it's nowhere near sunset and it's nowhere near sunrise. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope it was useful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. For more on this subject, just click here.